So by this point in life, I am drowning in headphones. What do you think I was going to say? And more on the way. And that's why I'm excited to take a look at this one. This is a headset by Sensor. It's a 7.1 surround sound system, very nicely made, and we're going to take a look at it today. I did have one minor issue with this one, but I'm hoping they're going to correct this one in the future or other models don't have the same problem. So this is the Sensor J100 Pro headset. It's a 7.1 surround sound gaming headset with 50 millimeter drivers, multi-platform compatibility, which means you can use it with your Xbox controller, PlayStation or PC, and it's a noise canceling mic, which you can definitely hear in the sound test coming up. But let's open this thing up and see what it looks like. Now, although I did do the voiceover afterwards, the video I'm taking is actually real reaction. So the first thing I notice is just how smooth this thing is everywhere. It's sleek, stylish, it's got a nice L and R, but if you use headphones a lot, you should know by now. Very flexible. The cable, obviously, auxiliary at first. It comes with a USB adapter, which we'll get into just a little bit later. Nice clip, clip it onto your clothes or somewhere else in your gaming setup. And a nice, sleek, breathable bag. I forgot to mention that the microphone is actually detachable and it comes with a windscreen as well, which is super helpful for anyone gaming in the desert or Arizona. I feel for you. Let's take a more detailed look at these. The design is really fresh and I really like the smoothness and matte finish. The bar curves and has a very nice appeal to it. The cups move back and forth very nicely, enough to fit really anyone's head. And although the band is flexible, but not too flexible, I think they meant it to be more structurally sound than flexible in the first place. And you can remove the microphone and add it back as needed, which is super cool if you're using a boom arm like me sometimes. And as promised, let's talk about this USB adapter. You can turn the mic input up and down, the computer volume up and down, toggle 7.1 surround sound on or off, and on the side, you can mute it. All right, we can finally start talking about comfort. I wore these things for quite a while. I tested them for about 10 days off and on. They actually put a dense memory foam in all of their material. So you touch it and it's really, really soft, comfortable and high quality. It's very lightweight. So you don't really feel like anything's resting on your head, which is really nice. And they keep out a lot of noise. I actually don't like noise canceling headphones because it just, man, it just feels like I can't hear anything around me and feel like someone's sneaking up behind me at all times. All right, let's talk about sound quality. These headphones came on par with really any $50 headphone. Nothing that stood out or made it worse than any other one in the lineup. You're gonna have a good time with them and there's nothing that really is gonna hinder your experience unless you're very picky about your audio. But if you're gaming, you're young, you're not too picky, you'll have a great time, they'll sound amazing and you'll have no issues. As we get towards the end of the video, here's a quick sound test of the microphone. All right, this is a quick sound test of the microphone. I think it sounds pretty good, but let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Maybe not for recording video quality, but gaming, chatting with your friends, I think this is perfectly fine. I've had no complaints since, and they said it sound crisp and clear. Okay, let's talk about what went wrong with these headphones. Now, I don't know if it was the packaging it came in, something I did later on, but when I bent the headphone in to my mouth, it started breaking up the connection that I was talking to my friends. They kept saying I was cutting in and out. All of a sudden, nothing happened. So I decided to listen in. As I was moving the microphone, it started breaking up. You can hear the static kind of building up. Um, when you pulled it out straight and away from your face, it went back clear again. I reached out to the company who made these. They said they're going to bring the feedback back to the manufacturing process to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future and see if it was something wrong with just mine or if something was wrong with the model in general. So I'm sure if this happens to you, they'll replace it no problem and work to making it better in the future. Thanks for watching. Well, now I just can't hear myself talk. Make sure to like, subscribe, because there's more headphone reviews on the way.